A change in how the state handles death information and death certificates could create headaches for families. Thanks for joining us. The new system will go live on May the 6th, but the old system will go down four days before that, leaving unanswered questions. And the state has not communicated to physicians yet what the issues were, why they updated. In our top story tonight, News 10's Richard Solomon is live at a local funeral home to explain the impact. Local health officials say the entire state of Indiana will be unable to certify deaths once this system goes down. Now, death certificates are very important for many things like insurance, getting burial permits, cremations, and accessing personal accounts. This will cause a problem to many people who are trying to tend to the deaths of their loved ones. Funeral homes just like the one you see behind me will feel an impact on this. General Griner Funeral Homes has around one funeral a day. Funeral Home Director Gary Griner believes that this will be a helpful tool over time. They've been using this current system for several years now. When it was started, many people feel like it was a dramatic change. Griner believes doctors, funeral homes, and coroners will adjust to the changes. There will be bumps at first, but he says this will be good coming out of this overall. I hate it for families, but it's going to be kind of in a once in a, a sure window of time that that's really going to be a problem. I can't imagine it's going to delay anything more than two or three or four or five days, maybe in the long run. Griner believes that the roughest part of this will be staff learning this new system. Now, training for that will begin on April 22nd for those who will be using this new system. Reporting live in Vigo County, I'm News 10's Richard Solomon. Back to you.